My people, what is going on? It's your old pal CHH. You know, it's pretty much the end of the year. I may have a few videos before the year ends. But uh, I was getting ready to do some cleanup in here. And uh, I thought, you know, why don't we go over my favorite pickups of the year? No, 99% of these actually came out this year. But there's a couple, at least one I know of I'm, I'm looking at that uh, did not come out this year. But I wanted to include it because... This video is going to serve a couple purposes, um, showing you some great stuff that came out this year that maybe you didn't pick up, maybe you thought about picking up and didn't, and two, just show you stuff that, you know, I I, I liked and I was happy about. So, we're not going to go in any specific order, um, and, and a lot of these movies, guys, some of them may not be the best releases, and I might have even talked about it, like, you know, this could have been better, blah, 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 this could have had more. But you know what? Sometimes, like, it's okay. Like, some of the stuff just makes me feel good when I look at it on the shelf and I reminisce. Like, man, that was a fun pickup looking back. Let's get started. I want to start with Second Sight Films, guys. I want to start with Martin. Uh, George Romero is my favorite horror director. And even though this isn't my favorite uh, movie from George, this was a landmark release. Um, it's a movie that's been, people have been wanting to own on a high definition for a long time. And uh, Second Sight did a good job with this. So Martin was a movie I was... When it got announced, I was excited. This is a very, very definitive release. It's got all kinds of extras. It's got all kinds of features. Um, I believe Second Sight has a standard kind of bare bone, Not a bare bones, but not a chunky box release like this. They have basically some sort of like a... Just a standard case release. The way kind of Arrow Video does when their stuff is uh, no longer collector's or limited edition. I want to talk about Pumpkinhead for a second. Man, I bought both versions of this movie. And I don't regret it because this is one of my all-time favorite creature features. I, I love Pumpkinhead. This came out right around the time of Halloween and it was a great feeling. Amazing movie and the 4K actually made the effects look even better. Lance Henriksen, you can't go wrong. Amazing release is Pumpkinhead. I love it. I love it to death. I, I mean, I really do, guys. You know. I want to talk about this release. This is the Halloween. I've actually got my Halloween shirt on. Rob Zombie's Halloween. I want to talk about the Rob Zombie's 1 and 2 from Via Vision. You guys kind of made this go on the list more so than just me. I got this because I wanted to kind of uh, demo and kind of test out Via Vision, which I'm becoming a big fan of. I have a couple releases from them now. And I got this and I reviewed it and a lot of people were like, dude, that's a cool release. I mean, it really is. The artwork's cool on it. It comes in a nice case. It comes with every, uh, all four cuts. So basically, you know, the theatrical cuts and the director's cuts of the movies. And uh, you guys kind of made me more excited about it after I had it than me. So uh, I, I'm going to put this on because I have good memories looking back on this now. A lot of people thought this was a really cool release. And quite frankly, they're right. Um, it is a really good release. So Via Vision put this out. This should still be available if you want this. Like I said, it's region free. It's got all the cuts of the movies. So if you're a theatrical cut person... Knock yourself out. If you're a director's cut person, knock yourself out. You've got it. No new features on that, but it had all the other features, all the documentaries and stuff. Uh, this is really cool. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I ended up really liking this movie. And this Umbrella release is um, just amazing. A good friend donated this to me, or sent it to me as a gift, rather. And I really appreciate it. Um, I love the cover on this, because at first glance, it almost looks like a, like a children's book. But I ended up really liking Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I think this is, um, what this is like Kill Her Goats, except actually entertaining. Like it's not boring. Um, I just thought this movie was hysterical. You know, you've got these guys in suits bumbling around killing people. It makes no sense, and I love it. And this umbrella <laughs> release is just amazing. So, really love Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Awesome release. Uh, Scream Factory put out a steel book you can pick up as well. But that's that's the coolest. Um, I'm a big uh, Lloyd Kaufman fan, and I was so happy that uh, Vinegar, Vinegar Syndrome put out uh, Mother's Day on what format? 4K. Still available, by the way. This is a new release. This is a great movie. It's a really twisted evil movie. Uh, it's got a really good temperament, though, for like the weirdos like me. And um, great looking 4K. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, I really recommend it. I think this is a great way to dive into it by picking up the 4K of Mother's Day. Um, they talk about it on some of the, they did a Joe Bob Briggs episode, which is the first time I saw this movie, which is a couple years ago. And, um, cause I didn't realize this was Lloyd. 
You know, when I when I found that out because he either talked about it or it was a video I saw. But I remember I watched it and I was like, oh, Joe Bob did an episode of that. I'm interested in seeing it. Loved it. I loved it. Loved it. So good. So that's a great release. That that was awesome. Um, this is slowly getting close to being my second favorite Lucio Fulci movie, guys. That's City of the Living Dead. Um, Arrow Video is doing a nice chunky box of this movie as well. And they're using the Cauldron Films 4K scan. Which the 4K of this movie looked to die for. Loved it. So, City of the Living Dead is a movie I love. It's a movie I'd, gl I'd gladly buy again because it's just one of the most amazing films. Uh, but Cauldron's this new label that I really like. I like their logo. Look at their logo. It's like a little, it's like a little uh, Grim Reaper. It's a great logo. I want to get a t-shirt of it. But, um, yeah, Cauldron Films, man. Great release. Great artwork. Great movie. Definitive release. Definit they do a they do a they on the special features they do this walkthrough of the graveyard that's from City of the Living Dead. Now when I was getting ready to play it, this is what I was thinking to myself. I was like, oh, I just want them. To, I wish they would just before I play. I was like, I wish they would just film the graveyard, you know, and just kind of like let let the ambience of the graveyard become the character of this. Don't don't give me a guy talking like this part of the movie. You know, they had, and sure enough, they just showed the graveyard and put some creepy music, and it was, it was such a good special feature. Oh, it's so good. I want to talk about Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares. Now, I really hope people pick this up. I reviewed this. This is a documentary about uh, Robert England that was so good, and there was stuff in here that I had no idea about, and I still don't want to talk about it yet because I feel like I'd be spoiling stuff about Robert England's career and things that happened to people he knew or knows. That blew me away. Um, this goes over his career, not just Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, but it was really good. This is the Walmart Steelbook. You might be able to pick this up still, but if you if not, they have a Blu-ray version that's available on Amazon and all that. Sorry, my, my 4K disk drive was open. It just closed automatically. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. Great documentary. I learned more than I could fathom about Robert in this. Really good, and I love this Steelbook. Love, love, love this Steelbook of... Uh, Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares. Probably my favorite documentary of the year. Just incredible. Uh, just an incredible, incredible release. Another one I, I, I was happy about getting this year. I love this movie. I like it more and more as I watch it. Deadstream. This guy goes to this haunted house and he's live streaming it and all these crazy things start happening. It's like Evil Dead meets Blair Witch kind of thing. Uh, really, really liked it. Got a really great sense about it. Um, I really like. I really liked it. Uh, this is a great movie. I say this came out. This is 2022, but I don't know if the Steelbook came out in 2023. It doesn't matter. Like I said, these are my favorite. I know I got it this this year. My point is, this is one of my favorite pickups of the year. I love this movie. I really hope you guys check it out if you haven't. Uh, it's a found footage movie, by the way. I want to talk about 88 films for a second because I think they're a great label. I'm probably going to pick up their 4K of the Amityville Horror. I'm talking about Burial Ground. This was a sensational release. And um, don't get me wrong, I am a fan of Severin. I love Severin films. But uh, people were like, I'm going to hold off and get the Severin films version of Burial, Burial Ground 4K. Well, I don't know if and when they're doing that. And I keep saying, 88 films literally knocked it out of the park. There's no reason to wait. There's great features on here. They got the best scan they could get for this on 4K. I love the artwork. And the slipcover is this kind of material that I've never seen before. It's... It's really nice material. I like it. Uh, of course, you can f swap the art and, and, and have that on there, the Italian collection. Uh, I just think this is a great release. Uh, again, if your 4K is a region-free format, so it's not something you have to say, well, I can't get that. No, you can. You know, it's a region-free format. So I, I really love this release. I loved it. Great job, 88 Films. Can't wait for Amityville Horror. Definitely grabbing that. I want to talk about Severin. You know, we were just talking about... Uh, them a second ago uh this maniac 2 release ended up becoming one of my favorites of the year now this is actually a movie called the, the last horror film uh and it, it does feel like a sequel to maniac in, in the sense of like it's the same kind of character that joe spinell plays it's a really good movie i ended, i mean no bull i ended up really liking the movie is it a 4k yeah it was, it was a 4k the last horror film um, sorry, I thought there was almost nudity on that. There's not. Her nipples are covered up. It, the boobs are fine, but it's funny how, it's funny how the nipple, that's, that's the, that's what crosses the line. But this slipcover sold everybody getting this, uh, with the Joe Spinell plushie. Where's my Joe Spinell? He, he's on the ground somewhere. I think he fell down, but 
yeah, I really love this, uh, really love this release. It's awesome. I reviewed this if you want to get all the details, but this was limited and out of print. You can get the movie, but you can't get that slipcover. Uh, so here's something that I know was uh, not a new release, but I did a review on this. I did a comprehensive review on this. I adore this Mortal Zombie Return of the Living Dead 3 release I got. Um, it's so definitive. It's a three-disc set. Um, it's just so awesome. I always wanted it, and I love the name Mortal Zombie. I wish it was called Return of the Living Dead 3 Mortal Zombie. You know, in America, I guess. Obviously, it is overseas. But this is amazing. I love this release. Um, I'm hoping Return of the Living Dead 2 gets some love overseas. I know I've got viewers, fans that watch this channel that are, you know, across the pond, as they say. And they, they keep saying, Christian, why is Return of the Living Dead 2 not on Blu-ray over here? And I, I don't know. It's a good question. It was Lorimar Pictures in the States. I don't know who put it out or who distributed it overseas. Because, you know, back then, all these movies had different distributors in different, you know, countries. It's weird. That's what they did back in the day. It's not so much a thing now, I don't think. But back in the day, then, that's that's why all these companies in Germany can put out all these horror films. And we're still fighting legal battles in America. Because it's just more complicated here for stuff. But uh, this is a great release. I love it. Mortal Zombie. Go check out my review on this, guys. Very comprehensive review. And I, uh, I just love that release. Uh, one of my favorite Vestron titles of all time came up this year. My Best Friend is a Vampire. Uh, this was incredible film incredible charming lovely you got the great david warner in here anytime david warner's in in something you know it's an automatic three stars right there in my opinion great release great movie extremely fun uh it's one of my favorite horror comedies now i mean it really is the cast is great uh is that is that is that slippy what's his name skip skippy from uh, the guy from Family Ties and Trick or Treat. I forget his name. I think he was Slippy in Family Ties. I, I know this. I'm a big fan of the show, but I can't remember. This was a great release, a budget release. Uh, one of my favorite from Vestron now is My Best Friend is a Vampire. Huge hopes for 2024 with Vestron. I hope they do some really good stuff. There's, I mean, guys, you got to understand, there's still a lot of good stuff they can do. Oh, well, let me just mention this now. I saw that Dawn of the Disc was saying that there's a new HD transfer available to stream for the movie uh, Pinocchio's Revenge. Now, if you haven't seen that, you'll love it. I mean, you really will love it. It's a movie about a killer P Pinocchio character. I think Pinocchio at that point had become public domain. That's why that movie happened. Uh, but it's 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 both creepy and funny. And I mean creepy, really creepy. It was a 1995 or 96 movie. So I really like it. And that could mean, you know, it's obviously got a new HD transfer. So that could mean a disc is coming. One would assume so high hopes for that, and that would probably be Vestron, because that was under Trimark or something, which I think is all, it's all under Lionsgate now, so. I'm going to be quick about this one, but, I mean, if you're, a, if you're a viewer of this channel, you know something that means the world to me is collecting Friday the 13th on physical media. I mean, it, it just always has, and it probably always will, and so when they put out the uh, Friday the 13th 4K steelbook, um... I just, I, I cherish this series and collecting it on physical media. You got to be careful because if you do what I, if you do what I did, you kind of just start getting some of them. You'll become addicted, but it's so fun. I mean, I, I really enjoy cataloging Friday the 13th on home video. It's like a, it's truly a passion of mine. And you know, the still book is identical to the Blu-ray one, which you can get for like 11 bucks right now. If you want that on Amazon, but I really like the slip cover. That was the cover for the, uh, the vinyl. There's Friday the 13th and 4K on the side, so yeah, love it. Just I'm, I, it makes me happy, guys. You can understand. Also, we started the year off with uh, the greatest horror film of all time coming to 4K. That is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I ended up getting both releases because I figured, you know what the hell, this is the greatest horror film of all time. And um, I didn't grab the Second Sight one. Kind of regret that, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I kind of regret it. Kind of wish I had got it. I don't know if it's even available anymore to have to see, but, you know, it is what it is. This is a great steel book, original artwork. You couldn't ask for better art on a steel book like this, giving us that artwork. Uh, comes with posters and stuff. So, great release. There's docu new documentaries that they made for this, so, you know. 
Uh, I really like this, guys. That we had got uh, the night, the best night of the demons film, Night of the Demons two on Blu-ray from Scream Factory. Finally, they did some more Blu-ray. You know, they're they're just still doing Blu-ray stuff. You know, we got a thinner coming from them on Blu-ray. Some people are upset that it's not 4K. I get it, but you know what? Like, let's just like Blu-ray's fine for thinner. You know, it's a fun movie. Comes with the slipcover, which more I figured more people would be happy that not only doing a slipcover for it, but they're doing original artwork for it. But uh, Night of the Demons 2 is clearly, to me, the best Night of the Demons film. I love it. The snake demon creeps me out. Uh, great movie. I'm so glad that this is available for people now on um, HD. You know. Now, these are movies that I just... They make me happy. Uh, Tales from the Dark Side, the movie, the 4K. My all-time favorite horror anthology. This was a gorgeous 4K. Truly, truly gorgeous. And a big improvement picture quality-wise over the Blu-ray release. So and there, there is a new commentary in here, but love this movie. So when this got announced, my my inner uh, fanboy just was so happy. And this actually became one of my favorite releases of the year, guys. I mean, it really it really did. You know, I'm talking about Silver Bullet. Go check out my review I just did. I, I, I basically admitted, you know, I was never a huge, huge fan of this movie, but I feel like I really saw the movie when I watched this 4K, and I had never had a movie resonate with me so much on a second or third rewatch. Uh, it was remarkable to me, and this ended up being a great release. Uh, it's a gorgeous 4K silver bullet. So that was that was a you know that was a great way to uh, end the year. Uh, of course, we're talking about uh, Bride of Chucky. This ended up being one of my favorites of the year. I mean, Bride of Chucky on 4K ended up being awesome. The picture quality was insane. It was beautiful, shot on film, and I just love this movie. I think it's a great film. It's funny how I didn't like it when I was a kid, but now it's just like, Christian, come on, dude. This is this is exactly the kind of movies you love. Those kinds of, like, you know, energetic horror comedies. So, ended up being a great one. Obviously, this is still available. If you want it with a slip, this is obviously, you had to buy this from Scream Factory. But if you want it with a slip, you'd have to get this uh, with this artwork on it. The, the, you know, the standard art, which I think some people would be like, oh, that's fine. I love that artwork. Or you can get that Arrow video box set, which I never got. You know, I, I saw I saw some video of it. It's a good looking box set, but I wasn't in love with the casing and things like that. Um, I'm always going to prefer slim, even slim cases over those like kind of booklet opening things. Just, you know, it is what it is. Cause you know, they, 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 you know, they announced that with El Hellraiser now. And it's just like, oh, my God. If I had known, I probably would have waited. But at this, we're going to look at it in a second. We're going to look at it in a second. But yeah, Bride of Chucky, amazing. I still kind of want the child's play. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I still kind of want the child's play box set from Arrow because it's, it's cool. It really is cool. And it's really remarkable that Arrow got that. And they did a 4K of Seed of Chucky Uncut, which was not something that Scream Factory did. They did a 4K of the theatrical, but not the, not the, uh, uncut version of 4K, which I know it's like some people's like, oh, let's see. But I think it's a funny movie, you know? So I, I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what happens. Uh, Monster Squad. This wasn't my favorite 4K scan of the year, but what a hell of a release. Oh, and I didn't notice this, but the, I didn't do this on my review, but if you flip the art on the case, it's the original poster. So, you can do that. Uh, I know some people are still waiting on this. This got delayed big time, but I will say it was shot on Super 35. It still looks really good. Still looks really good. Um, but the documentaries on here are sensational. Such a great release. I mean, this is a perfect release for Monster Squad. I mean, it really is. So I loved it. I mean, really happy to have that. It was a it was a damn good year for physical media, and I also picked up the In Search of Darkness Blu-ray trilogy of uh, parts one, two, and three. This comes with all three of them. Uh, part one's playing in the living room right now. Uh, so you got that. Part two and part three. If you're if you're saying to yourself, oh, Christian, I want that. You got to get it from the VC creator or the 80s horror doc. Go to 80s horror doc on Instagram. Go to their info and they'll say, hey, we're going to restock these on Blu-ray. They're, they're kind of made to order and they do a batches at a time. So you have to pay for it and then get it a month or so later, which is fine, you know, because you can stream them on Shutter, I think. Um, but I wanted to own them because they really do look a lot better on Blu-ray. I mean, they're very, very sharp. Uh, it's noticeable. And it's nice to own it. I don't have to worry about internet. I don't have to worry about them getting pulled from Shutter. They're available to me whenever I want to watch them. Happy about that. The previous one was like a nice box set release, but I got the, you know, the multi-pack version, which is yeah, it's fine. That's fine. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I still love this Hellraiser release. Um, it's still, it's, it's very gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, the thing is just like, would I sacrifice special features to have just the movies in, in, in regular cases? I don't know. You know, I, I just don't, I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe not, you know, but to say that I'm not happy with this release would be to lie. I just think, I just think, uh, Arrow should, they have a blueprint for what makes horror fans the happiest, and I think they should stick with it, you know, and what am I talking about? Well, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Let me put this back in. God, it's a snug fit in this damn, in this damn Hellraiser box set. I'm talking about this, man. This is probably my favorite pickup of the year, the Psycho Box. I mean, this is literally done the way fans love it. Uh, hard shell case. I like the addition of the overlapping um, slip thing. Um, look at that. We got the house on the back. And look, all individual cases for the movies. Like, this is exactly how to do it. I mean, exact to a T. So, it, it's interesting that they... And this is by far the best box set release of the year. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I love Hell, I love the Hellraiser one. But pound for pound, this is it. This is incredible. I love it. Psycho. Now they're putting out a box set of Psycho just two through four. At which... Okay, okay. Um, I probably would have got that too. I'm not going to get it now because this is literally perfect. I mean, I love the design of this one too over the, over the other one. I mean, I like the color purple a little bit more than red. But my point is, this is perfect. Literally perfect. And I wish I wish Arrow would just do that for everything from the start. So while I love this, I don't need to buy this again. Don't get me wrong. Um, I just hope I hope in the future that they listen to the fans and they stick to just Blu-ray cases. That's just what we want. That's what we want. But guys, I mean, it's a great... It was a great year for physical media. There's so much stuff. I'd love to know what was your favorite of the year. Please let me know down below. I mean, just so many, so many great things. And I, when I look at these releases now, I'll have good memories. Um, hopefully, I'll get some more Friday the 13th stuff in 2024. God knows I'd love part two on 4K Paramount. Let's make that happen. So, yeah, guys, uh, maybe this will be the year. Maybe this will be the year for the Rob Zombie's Halloween 4 case. Maybe this will be the year for some Nightmare, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Time will tell. Uh, I've got, I'm, I'm optimistic. I really am. I'm optimistic right now, guys. I think we've got good things coming. Uh, and I think it's going to be a good year. I really do. So let's take the journey together. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me all these years and, and the continued support. I love you guys. Uh, you guys made my 2023 sensational. I mean, you really did. It's, it's been a great year. It's been a great year, man. It really has. I got no, I have nothing to complain about. You know what I mean? Um, my life is good. You know, I work hard, I play hard, um, I love physical media, it's still my, my pride and joy in life, one of them anyway, and, um, it's just been great, it really has, so, I'm excited, I, I'm excited for announcements to happen, and me to be able to come on here and talk to you guys about it, and that sort of thing, and I, I got a feeling we're gonna start strong in 2024, I think there's gonna be some big announcements, you know, I really do, I really do. So let's let's see what happens, guys. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. I really do. And, um, you know, I'll see y'all soon. I love you guys. Y'all take it easy. I'm going to get out of here. All right, y'all be good. See y'all next time. Huge, giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind-the-scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.